knee is, as I take this club to the top of my backswing, when I change directions, my left knee is working around like this. Is that what you're talking about? That's what I'm talking about. And what kind of spawned this idea for this video, actually, um, was I saw a over-the-top video of you and Arnold Palmer and Bryson DeChambeau. And the thing I saw every single time, the one thing that stood out was, wow, that left knee, you know, it kind of kicks in in the backswing a little bit, but then it goes, it starts to go out towards the toe of the left foot and then back around. It's like a perfect circle. Yeah. So I'm going to show you guys a over-the-top video, too, so you can see it. Sweet. So you'll be able to show them exactly what's going on here. Yeah. Now, what's happening is as I'm changing directions, my left leg is rotating externally. Now, in reality, my left leg is rotating internally in my hip socket because my pelvis is actually opening faster than my knee is, is going. Yeah. But, for this case, we need to feel like our leg is working around, which is giving me the, the, the freedom to be able to keep turning. If I feel like I keep this leg pinched in like this, I really can't get my pelvis to, to go. Yeah. Now what about people that say, okay, you need to post up and straighten that left leg? Now for me, straightening of the leg is a byproduct. It's when my body is turning and this hip's going around, 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 my leg is straightening out. Yeah. I don't really want to feel like I'm going and straightening my leg out right necessarily it straightens out but it's straightening out for different reasons than just to straighten out it's straightening out because my pelvis is, is turning and in order for me to keep my pelvis turning now I've got to straighten my leg some amount and actually the, the turning of my pelvis straightens my leg for me now what's going on exactly with like the pressure in your left foot as that's going on it's because there's a pressure going right to your left heel right off the bat like no you want it going right to the left heel no it, it actually lands kind of into the outside of my foot on the kind of the ball okay and then it rotates around you can see how it kind of goes yeah. to the outside and rotates around like this and then eventually if i turn far enough it either goes to the heel or some players like justin thomas actually use the ball there they actually let their their toe drop or their the ball of their foot drop and so they're actually pushing up this way. Well, and then you see like Jordan and Bryson, it looks like their foot ends up like and They roll clear to the yeah, outside everyone edge. Everyone watches their swings and they're like, oh my gosh, how did they not break their ankle? But that's really more the natural. Yeah, your, your feet are really made to be able to roll to the outsides. Right. If you roll to the inside now, that might actually break an ankle. But rolling to the outside, you know, this doesn't hurt at all. So. It's definitely safer for me to be able to turn through the shot and be on the outside edge of this foot with my pelvis kind of inside of my, my ankle here. And we see this with lots of players on tour. Earlier I think you might have mentioned Bryson. And Jordan Spieth. Yep. Oh Justin. yeah, it looks like they're... I mean, it, it looks like they're breaking their foot, and a lot of people are like, whoa, that's crazy. And, you know, they're, they're saying Bryson's going to be out of the game within, you know, the next five years because of it. But really, this, as long as that knee is kind of that circling motion, it's really the, the safer move, isn't it? For sure. Now, so I've, I've looked at this, and I watched lots and lots of baseball players who swing the, a heavier stick, probably harder, you know, those yep. guys can make 140 club head speed with golf clubs. And I don't remember here of anybody really getting injured swinging a bat. You hear of hurt uh, ankles or anything? And they, they're <laughs> like, you know, they hit it and... I mean, this like... Foot's like this. Right. They're not... I've never heard of them getting hurt swinging right, a bat. foot is... It's like turned over a lot of times it's turned over and it's laying on the side like this the inside of the foot's like pointing the sky yeah <laughs> a lot of times i see that with baseball players yeah they don't get hurt so 
I personally don't think Bryson's going to get hurt for that reason. He may hurt something else. He may hurt a wrist. He may hurt a hurt something else. But I don't think he's going to hurt his ankle. Right. I mean, and Jordan's Jordan does the same thing. So, uh, but anyway, so let's let's kind of trace back here. Uh, no, no pun intended there with a the trace, but the circling of that knee. Um, what's something we can kind of work on to get that? Because you see it like, and, and Sam Sneed was a great example too. That sort of that squat action. Yeah. Right? So what's what I like to feel is as I'm changing directions, I like to feel like my knees are staying the same distance apart or widening. So this leg is kind of holding its ground, and this one is going around like this. As the pressure in that left foot. As the moves. pressure goes out to the outside edge of the foot. Okay. So I don't want to see this happening with my knees too much. I want to feel like it's more of that rotation kind of a, a feel. Yeah. And we've talked about this before with that sort of that trail foot action, almost like this motion, right? Yeah. That, uh, would you call it a military march or something? The march? Yeah. It's like, some people have called it a marching move. This, this knee goes this way and then this way. It doesn't so much go straight this way. Can, you know, there's a lot of ways to do it, but my preference is that it, this leg holds itself as this rotates and then it all comes around. Yeah. Cool. So if you're looking at your swing from above, which I don't know if you guys do, but you'll see ideally sort of that knee circling. It's uh -huh. a really cool action to see. We'll again post some videos in this YouTube so you see that. And uh, I think I got one of you from up top too. Sweet. Well, should I hit one and see if I can actually do yeah. it? Okay, here we go. No warm-ups. Not bad. Did I keep it on the grass? I did. guys well if you like this video make sure you subscribe hit the bell icon all that jazz check out milolinesgolf.com where we uh, have a online academy for you we'll uh, walk you step by step through the the learning process we've got kind of a foundation that we've built and we'll promise you'll learn a lot fast so come join us